Immigration reform is taking center stage in Washington this week as Congress attempts to tackle the controversial issue. The ideas include creating a path to citizenship for unauthorized immigrants already here, securing the border, improving the employment verification system, and penalizing those who hire illegal immigrants. Now, it'll also allow more low-skilled workers to enter our country for hard-to-fill jobs. We cannot continue as a nation with 11 million people residing in the shadows. And we have to address the issue. For the first time ever, there's more political risk in opposing immigration reform than in supporting it. And the White House says the proposal mirrors the president's priorities on this. He'll unveil his vision tomorrow during a trip to Nevada. Going in-depth now, for undocumented immigrants, it's a life really living in the shadows. No social security number, no health care benefits to speak of. Today, I met one young man with Mexican roots who grew up here in Austin, but he still does not know whether he'll be able to stay in America after he graduates. Ten years after his family moved to Austin from Mexico, 20-year-old University of Texas student Juan Bellman does not see himself as undocumented. I see myself as I have this opportunity. I'm going to take the most out of, out of it that I can. Well, he has no social insurance number, no actual American citizenship. A 2001 Texas law permits high school graduates like himself to continue their studies as long as one day he applies for permanent residency status. I don't think it's pure luck, but just my hard work that has gotten me to where I am. Last June, Bellman celebrated when President Obama brought the Deferred Action Program into being. That buys him two more years after he picks up his UT degree in governmental studies. But even hard work or a green card application is no guarantee under the current mishmash of federal immigration rules. Still, with concrete reform on the political horizon, the Central Texas chapter of the League of United Latin American Citizens says this. We have hope that this time we will end up with an immigration reform by which a majority of Americans will support and our immigrant community will no longer live in fear of deportation and a separation of families. For the Austin Immigration Rights Coalition, the new reform talks should be significant, they say, for the future of Central Texas, which due to geography is already saturated with Mexican culture. When we can integrate all of these communities into our, our society, into our culture, into our economy, it can only mean good things for our country. For Juan Bellman, he's hoping to one day be part of that integration, maybe even running for city government in the place he calls home. I've been living here in Austin for 10 years now and I've helped my community as much as I can and hopefully in the future I can help my community in a better, in a greater way. And we also caught up today with Texas Congressman Michael McCall who chairs the U.S. House Homeland Security Committee. He tells KXAN enforcing who's crossing the border now is his priority. But if you don't know or have any operational control as to who's coming in, it's hard to have a very sophisticated, uh, smart approach to immigration reform. Representative McCall's calling for troops now in Afghanistan to be redeployed along our southwestern border. He also wants more air support there.